Hello everybody, good morning. How are we all doing today? Vlog number two. We are going back to Cornwall today. Um, we're going to Falmouth. Falmouth is a lovely little town on the south coast of Cornwall. It's so pretty. I've been there many, many times. Um, and it's just one of my favourite places. So that's what we're going to do. We've got, I've got a few things lined up, including a little trip to Pendennis Castle. We have blue in the background here. So well, hi, mate. <laughs> We've got blue in the back. He's pissed. He's, he's gone. Oh no, he's coming to me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, we're going to a place called Pendennis Castle as well tomorrow, which is a beautiful building. I'm hoping to get lots of inspiration from this. We're having a nice tour around it so we actually get to go inside and thank fuck, to be honest with you, because it's absolutely pissing down all weekend. So, I'm going to try. I'm gonna try and get some good drone shots and whatnot, but I don't know. Because of the weather and stuff, it's supposed to be raining all weekend. I need to buy an umbrella. There's lots of things I have to do. But um, yeah, it's around about 10 o'clock. My train's not until about 12. Uh, and it's another two hour trip, two hour train ride. I do have to have a changeover as well in Truro. Um, so, but that's only like a 20 minute wait as well. So yes, just thought I'd update you, looking forward to it. And we're staying in a really cute little cottage once again, and it's bright pink. The cottage is bright pink, so I can't wait to show you where we're staying this time. Um, but yeah, that's all I need to say. I think I'll probably see you next when I'm at the station, my loves. I'm in Truro now. Um, I, my memory card corrupted when I was in Plymouth Station, so I couldn't, I couldn't film anything. But I'm here, I'm here, I've got a kit. I'm slightly behind, I'm slightly behind because the train was late. So I am gonna now get this train from Truro into Falmouth Town. Um, we're probably going to go and find somewhere to have a beer because it's me and then we'll go and have a little look at the Airbnb that I'm staying in um, and I'll give you guys a little grand tour but that's it, that's all I need to say I'll see you when I'm in Falmouth I made it to Falmouth. We are here. This is Falmouth in the background here. Lots of big, this is a, the big, this, I think this is Falmouth docks. The harbour goes like all the way down here as well, look. And it goes like all the way down there. But we're, what I'm doing, <laughs> that was a very stressful journey. I won't lie, that was a very stressful journey. Um, so what I need to do, my Airbnb is ready now, we're ready, but what I really want is to get a pint down my face, loves. Get a pint in my face, sit down, chill for a little bit, and then we're gonna take a big walk and go to the Airbnb and see what happens. I've got a fancy new gimbal, so wherever I put my camera, it kind of just keeps it steady. Look at that big like industrial ship back there. I don't know what it's doing, that orange one. And look at this yacht. Can you see that yacht over there? Look at the bloody size of it. It's absolutely nuts. But yeah, I'm gonna go and find, oh, sorry. I'm gonna go and find a pub to have a little drink in. And then I'm gonna go and find my Airbnb, but I have no idea where I'm going. So I need to get Google Maps out, loves. Anyway, see you in a minute.
Okay, quick little pit stop. I'm just about to go and find my Airbnb. I have no idea what this monument thing is behind me here. Hello, my name's Aiden. I'm your tour guide for this evening. I have absolutely fucking no idea what that is behind me, but I'll pop it up on the screen now so you guys can see or learn about what it is. You can tell I've had a drink. I've had one pint and I'm off my Nelly already. For goodness sake, that's what this weekend's gonna be all about because if it's raining, this might be a vlog for, from the pub. Just a pub, just one pub. That's all we're doing this weekend. We're just gonna pop ourselves into one pub <laughs> and stay there for the remainder. But it's sunny at the minute. It's really sunny. Look at these houses over here. Look at those little houses. Look, all different colours. It's like Bella fucking Mori, darlings. They've got lovely Georgian houses over there as well, look. Look at those beautiful Georgian houses. Ah, oh, I don't even know if I'm seeing this on the screen right now because I've got my screen flipped the other way. But um, I think it's time to go and find our Airbnb. Let me put all my bags down and we'll venture out. I might even try and fly my drone a bit. It's a bit windy, it might be raining, but I'm gonna try at least. But um, anyway, onwards. Now for you, let's build the world's watchers. Do you recognize this place? Let me know in the comments below if you do. my loves we have made it this is where I'm staying this time it's like a little mini pink house how cute how cute is that I'm whispering once again because neighbors but um I'll speak to you again once I'm inside and all settled well there we go I'm in I'm in to the Airbnb and it is so cute it's a tiny one bedroom period cottage up on top of the up on top of the cliff tops in Falmouth and it is so adorable I think you guys are gonna love it it really is it's so much smaller than where we stayed in St Ives but it's so well decorated like oh my god look at the banister up there I'm just gonna flip my screen so I'm gonna give you a lovely little tour now so I flipped my screen look how cute this place is Look at the lovely furniture as well. Look at the lovely like stone wall that's been exposed over there. So you come around this way and there's a tiny little living room. You walk straight in through from the main door, which is obviously there, um, into the living area. But I just love this. I love this little chest down here. That is lovely. I've been looking for something like this, but I've not found the right one, but that is perfect. So I might steal it, I'm joking. <laughs> All of the windows have got these like lovely blinds as well, which is so cool. Love the lamp, very lovely lamp. I love lamp and all of that. Lovely little dining room table here as well. Very mid-century, a lot of this furniture, like including the little dresser and stuff. Oh, I'm going upwards, down including down here as well. Like, look at that lovely little dresser. Isn't that lush? And then obviously it's like a picnic table. There's two little benches, very snowy escape, may I say. Um, and then there's this lovely like flag that's been framed up on the wall here. Um, that isn't a print, that is the light if you're wondering what that circle is in it. Um, but how beautiful is that? But I'm in love with the banister. I love the fact that they've used like a boat oar that goes all the way up and that is where the only bathroom and bedroom is in the house. Now you come through this way, look at this exposed stone granite my loves, this is solid, absolutely beautiful. You go through this way, you come around here, look at the doors, very cottage living if, you do, if I do say so myself. Let me try and get that into the shot. I'm really not getting on with this gimbal. I'm finding it very difficult. If I sound out of breath, it's because I am. 
th this was tr quite a trek to get to this little place. Look at this exposed stone wall all the way through the hallway here. This door is locked, so it must be some kind of like storage or something, so I'm not gonna bother with that. And then you come round here. Out there is the little tiniest courtyard I've ever seen in my life. And look how tiny this kitchen is. Look, look how tiny she is. She's so cute. It's adorable, it really is. It really is. I'm having, I'm having a great time already, me. Um, Tiniest courtyard you've ever seen in your life. Are you ready? It's so small. I'm going to whisper again because neighbours. But look, look. So you come out here. It's just this little tiny courtyard. That's all gravel, graveled. And this is the colour of the house as well, if you didn't see it properly. It's in this really lovely pink colour with that lovely finish as well, where they kind of do like a rough render over it. But it's so cute. So, so cute. Anyway, onwards. I'm going to show you the bedroom. The bedroom is definitely my, definitely my favourite room in the house. I won't lie to you. There's no low ceilings in here. So I won't be hitting my head on anything this time around, which is lovely, isn't it? Anyway, so up the stairs. You go through this way. Go through this way. Up the stairs here. With that lovely... Oh banister it's so nice painted white floorboards up here like i've got in my house which is so nice look at that lovely fireplace and as i said all of the windows have got this like the lovely shutters i love that and then you come around here so look at this lovely fireplace oh that's a bit of me that that's so lovely exposed brick fireplace and look at the bed Look, it's got like a lovely like green, like ottoman at the foot of the bed as well. Let me just close that door a bit so you can see the rest of this once I go through. But look, it's got lovely panelling up on the wall over there. Oh, oh, I'm for this room. I really am. I cannot wait to have a little sleep in that tonight. I'm wondering if it's going to be comfy. We might have to test it out in a second. We might have to test it out. But look what a lovely, bright, really relaxing feeling room. And then through here is the only bathroom of the house or of the cottage. But it's got a lovely big bath that I'm definitely going to be partaking in a little bit of that action. Maybe this evening. I'm not too sure. And then it's got a full shower over this side as well um very similar to my shower actually from home or at home but my lord i mean hello <laughs> we are going to be going for all i would say just a little stroll around falmouth in a bit i think i'm gonna have a bit more of a relaxing evening as i said yes to tomorrow sorry I'm gonna be going to, oh God, <laughs> I might have tripped then, just a little bit. Oh, and fell down a step then as well. I've had one pint, I'm not that drunk, for goodness sake. But we're going to Pendennis Castle. Pendennis Castle, I'm so excited. Oh God, let me get my screen flipped up so I can talk to you properly. So, as I was saying, we're going to Pendennis Castle tomorrow for a little tour. I've booked us in for a tour around midday. So we actually get to go inside this castle, which was built by, well, not himself, but it was built when Henry VIII was in reign. And it's, gonna, it, it's been used for several things over the years, including a lot of stuff for World War um, two, but obviously it was built during the 1500s, I think. We'll talk a bit more about it tomorrow, but that's what we're going to do. So for today, what we're going to do, we're just going to chill out. We're going to chill out. I'm going to have a little walk around the harbour in a sec. Um, I'm definitely needing another beer. I really am. I've had a taste for one now, and you guys know me. This is just me, my drinking diaries. That's all it's going to be. Um, and then I'll come back later on this evening and just chill out in here, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. Very much am. Falmouth is lovely. Falmouth is very, I don't know, trendy as well. The fashion down here, I love some of the fashion. I'm obviously not going to video randoms at what they're wearing and stuff, but I do love the fashion down here. I feel like I fit in a little bit, which is always good, isn't it? But then sometimes it's not. 
Because if you don't want to fit in, you don't have to, darlings. Just be yourself, you know. That's what I tend to do. But um, I'm going to stop waffling on. And uh, you'll probably see me as I've rejoined the streets of Falmouth. The weather is looking okay. I might try and fly my drone today. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't want a repeat of last time where it nearly got blown out to sea. Um, but yes, hope you've enjoyed this little tour. This house is gorgeous. I cannot wait to chill out in it for this weekend. Um, but as I said, I'll see you once I'm back in the streets of Falmouth. Okay, we're heading down to the main harbour area now. It started to rain a bit, which I'm a bit pissed off about. Oh, there's a rainbow. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. You probably can, but there's a rainbow up in the sky there. Not even sure if I'm filming that because I can't get used to this fucking gimbal, darlings. Um, but nice steady shocks, look. I'm wiggling all around and it's kind of staying a bit better, isn't it? Um, but yes, look, look how pretty. Look, look, look how pretty. Falmouth is so lovely. It really, really is. Um, we're gonna head down into the main little harbour bit. I'm definitely gonna go and find somewhere to have a drink. <laughs> I think, I think it would be rude if I didn't, to be honest. Um, have you seen these stairs? This is what I have to climb up to the house. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look steep um, on video. <laughs> but I assure you, it's, it's a workout, darlings. Absolute workout. But I just, I love the feel of Falmouth. There's just something about Falmouth. It feels a lot bigger than St. Ives, because it is. It's in kind of English terms, British terms. Falmouth is quite a young town. I think it was founded in the 1600s, which obviously might sound old to some people, but a lot of the towns and cities in the UK um, are a lot older. But Falmouth was founded in the 1600s, I think. But um, I've just noticed as well, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little cheeky church over there. I think we should then maybe going check that out now maybe we'll go and check that out now um yes i've just there's just some as i said in the last vlog there's just something about a church and i'm the most unreligious person in the world so onwards Falmouth Parish Church. You probably just heard the bells tolling as well. The bells were ringing then because it's just reached. Is it five o'clock? Is it five o'clock? It's five o'clock. But I've just tried to get into the grounds and all of the gates are locked. The gates are locked. I think it might be a bit late or something. So tomorrow what we'll do is come back and check on this again and we'll see if we can actually get inside this time. Um, because they, they've, just, they've just chained all of the fences and stuff up in the gates and the entrances so they obviously don't want us in there, it's because we're gay, it's very homophobic, it very much is. Hello, I'm down on the harbour area now, I'm going to go and try and find somewhere to have a little drink but before I do that I, I may try and fly my drone around the actual harbour area itself so I'm going to go and try and have a little look to see where we can do that but this place is so pretty, I remember coming back here or here in the summer. I think it might have been last year, or it could have been, um, but look, look at the little Harbour Master's office and stuff. How cute. But I think I was here maybe last summer. It was during or after one of the lockdowns, and all of these tables that you're seeing behind me now were full. Obviously, we're kind of on the cusp of spring at the minute, so not many people's about. Um, but, but yeah, I think it's very pretty very pretty here so that's what I'm gonna try and do there may be some drone footage there may be not but if not you'll probably see me get cut back to a pub somewhere but let's see if we can go and find somewhere rather beautiful to get some nice drone shots in shall we
managed to get a little, little, some little drone shots in. I just love the look of the harbour around here and I was getting, I was chatting to a lady by there as well. I always find it so strange that whenever you're by yourself, you always find that you need human interaction by interacting with strangers. Like, and you end up talking to so many people when you're by yourself compared to if you were by, with somebody else like in a setting that you have visited or something. I always find that so strange, but I really like it. Look how cute this street is, by the way. Look at these houses. Like they're all different colors all the way down here as well. You're straight onto the water at the edge. Cool. Oh my God, I can smell pizza. That smells amazing. Um, I'm gonna go and try and find somewhere to go and get a nice pint of beer. I don't know where, but I'm sure we'll end up somewhere. Pint number two, darlings. Here we are. I can't remember where this place is. I will put it up on the screen now where I'm ha sat having a drink, but the staff are really nice. Um, and I have got the whole bloody beer garden to myself. Look, it's where we just were just a minute ago. Let me put this down. It's where we just were just a minute ago, but a bit further up. But we've got this whole bloody beer garden to ourselves, darling. I mean, I'm more than happy about that, to be honest. More than happy. Um, I don't think I'm gonna, I booked myself in to have some dinner in a restaurant called Restaurant 4 tomorrow evening. Tonight, I think what I might do is just pop into the local supermarket and get a few like healthy bits to take back for breakfast. They haven't got any oat milk, so I do need to get some oat milk. Um, and yeah, just a few little bits for tonight for when I get back to the Airbnb. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy these views, have maybe a little wander around a bit more, but I, I just really wanna chill out this evening. I can enjoy this beer. Oh, and I forgot to say, back at the Airbnb as well, they left a little bottle of Prosecco in the fridge. How adorable is that? I don't drink Prosecco, so I won't be drinking it. But I just thought that was a nice little touch. What a lovely little touch for an Airbnb. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my pint and just chill out and look at this lovely view. night time now you're probably going to hear a lot of heavy breathing because I'm having to walk up lots and lots of stairs Um, I'm on my way back <laughs> look at this blue light I'm kind of feeling it Um, I'm on I'm on my way back to the Airbnb <laughs> there's so many steps but look how pretty Look how pretty. Very, very nice. Oh, I'm on my way back from the pub to the Airbnb now. I'm just gonna relax for the evening because we're going to that, we're going to Pendennis tomorrow. We've got a full tour, so it should be quite nice. But I'm so out of breath right now. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. Look at the, what's going, look at the glasses. Look at that, look at the moody light though. The moonlight loves. Moonlight walks with Devon Bumpkin. Stunning. Anyway, I'm gonna end this little bit here now because you can't see me and I will see you back 
at the Airbnb. Hello, I'm back at the Airbnb now. Nice relaxing end to the evening. I've got myself a little cheeky pizza. Do you want to see? Do you want to see my pizza? Well, I've got myself a nice little, a nice little pepperoni pizza. I don't eat the crusts. I don't eat them. I don't know why. I just don't like the crust. I don't want hair on my, I don't want hair on my chest. So I just, oh God, oh God. Did I even show you the pizza then? I have no idea. I can't see what I just filmed. <laughs> I've had a couple of pints, okay? I might be a bit tipsy. I'm just gonna chill out for the evening now. I'm gonna have a bath, so I might even record myself in the bath. I'm not gonna show my tits though, so don't expect, don't be expecting to see any kind of areola action, darlings. It's not happening. I'm watching a little bit of the, um, the Great Pottery Showdown as well. Does anybody else watch this? Love this program, especially the judge or the guy who cries all the time. <laughs> he cries. He cries hat pottery. I mean, that's a mood, isn't it, to be honest? But yeah, I'm going to finish demolishing this lovely, lovely pizza and I'm going to go and take a bath and just get relaxed for the evening. So I'm home now. Lovely. Hello, darlings. I'm in the bath. I'm in the bath washing myself. This is the first time I'm naked in any kind of YouTube video. How very risque. Um, but I'm gonna sign the vlog off here. I hope you like my hair. But um, I will, yes, I'll probably join you all again in the morning. But for now, my lovelies, it's a good night from me. Good night. my darlings it is saturday i'm still at the airbnb i love the light in here in the morning um look how beautiful this is it's so lovely the sunlight comes through these like shutters rather lovely i've had a shower i've had a coffee i'm ready to start the day darlings i'm absolutely ready to start today it's about half past eight i've been up since about seven um, I had a really nice sleep. That bed is super, super comfortable. <laughs> it really, really is. Love a memory foam mattress. I do. Anyway, plans. What we're going to be doing today, as I said many times yesterday, we're going to be going to Pendennis Castle to have a tour around it. That starts at midday, um, but it starts to rain around that time. Um, at the minute, it's glorious sunshine. So what I'm thinking about doing, or what I will be doing, is we're gonna go and find somewhere to have some breakfast. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is walk to the castle early so I can try and get some good shots with my drone and also this camera without being rained on. And I also need to buy an umbrella, actually. So we're gonna go and hunt for somewhere where I can actually buy an umbrella. <laughs> That is what's gonna be going on today. And then this evening, as I said yesterday, I've got um, I've got a dinner booking. I've got a dinner booking in a restaurant in the town. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing. That is our Saturday. And we're just gonna have a little wander around the streets. And I'm thinking after the castle, it's just, it's just having a really nice walk up beside the river, not river, estuary, seaside, um, because there's a really lovely beach, there's a lovely beach that I want to show you as well. So that will probably be covered in rain by the time that we're there. But we're going to have a look at it anyway. Yes, we are. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get out on the streets of Falmouth, shall we? Okay, my darlings, I've already had some breakfast. I didn't really film much of it because I was busy shoving it in my face. So what I'm doing now is I'm walking up to Pendennis Castle, which is about a mile and a half walk. But I've just came across 
the Falmouth Hotel, which is a really lovely building. Um, so I'm just going to have a little look at it and see what we can see. I'm wondering if this has got like a nice view over the top. It feels like it has because the wind is out today. I've got my wind muth on, but the audio might not be the greatest. Oh, I think I can see the castle from here. I think I can see the castle. Ah, it's very windy. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to fly my drone. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, the castle is right on top of the hill up there. I'll try and show you in a minute, but that's where we're going to be heading. I'm right on top of there. That's where the castle is. I can't zoom in, but that's where we're going. And this overlooks the beach, this hotel. It's a really, really lovely looking hotel. But look how gorgeous. So pretty. So, so pretty. Oh. Oh, I'm for it. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make my way up to there somehow. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to fly my drone because it's very windy. We've made it. We have made it to Pendennis Castle. It's just behind me there. Don't know if that is picking up nicely. We're actually going to be going inside for a big tour in a minute, but um, for now, I'm just going to take a little walk around the grounds because there's the grounds are vast. Look at these buildings behind me here. We'll have a little nose over there in just a second, but they look so beautiful. So, so beautiful. So, as I said, as I was saying, the castle was built in the 1500s, exact dates I will put down below here, um, and I think it was for Henry VIII to protect against invading forces, um, I think maybe France or Spain, maybe, I think maybe France or Spain, this is my general lack of history knowledge. <laughs> But it's still nice all the same, isn't it, to be honest? But, um, yeah, this place is beautiful. It really is. And it's you can see all of the water. So you can see all of the sea from this vantage point, which made it a very good place. Oh, so I'm not even filming myself. Which made it a very good place to protect, protect the country from those invading forces hundreds and hundreds of years ago which always just baffles my brain but here's the castle itself we're walking past it now look how beautiful it is it's completely circular as well and i think the reasons for that um is to get a 360 degree scope of who is coming to snatch your biscuits you know <laughs> once again historian thank you
darling. That burnt about 30 minutes. Just had a nice cup of tea in the cafe. Now I'm on my way to go to the castle. I don't know what time this tour starts, but this is where we're, we're gonna go. <laughs> Give me two secs and wait until I'm inside. I might not film the tour. I might wait until they've actually spoke about everything and then I'm gonna wander around by myself and kind of go around that way, I think. Um, I'll see you in a minute. Guys, we're in the castle. We're in the castle. I have to come over that little bridge. Look at the little, oh, it's very windy. It's very windy. Look at that fireplace. That is huge. I'm gonna be whispering throughout here. Look at these walls. Look how thick they are. Look what they would have had to have been for cannons and whatnot, but look how thick those walls are. Come on, focus. Oh my God. Oh, the through here. Oh, oh, it's very cold in here. Oh my God, look. Spiral staircase all the way up the gun tower. We'll go through there in a second. Oh. Oh, I've got a funny feeling in here and I don't know why. <laughs> oh, this is spooky. Look how, look at the ceilings, the timber ceilings. Wow. Oh. I don't know what it was. I walked through that part there and I just had a really heavy feeling in my stomach. Haunted, darlings. Haunted. This is nuts. Look at those timber, like, pillars. They're absolutely huge. Honestly. Are those thrones? <laughs> They're not much of a throne though, darling, are they? Not much of a throne. <laughs> okay. Wow. This is nuts. But that feeling that I got walking through that doorway just a minute ago was very strange. Very strange. But um, I think what we'll do is go up those spiral stairs. Oh, God, those are tall. And make our way to the gun tower at the top. But look at these. Oh, my God. Okay. Right, let's try that again. My camera wasn't focusing then for some reason. But this is where we're going. Up these stone spiral staircase. They're so steep as well. Look how steep they are down here. Look how steep they are. I don't know if that's even picking up on the camera. But this is the way where we're going, so... Make sure to hold on to the rope. <laughs> All the way up. It's very windy up here as well. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, there's another area here. This is like a cannon room. Okay. I don't have the same feeling as what I had downstairs in this room. But this is where the cannons would have fired out. Oh my God, look. Oh, my battery's flashing. Give me one sec, I'm just gonna change my battery. Okay, new battery is in, but this is, look at these cannons in here. Like, and these obviously look straight out to sea. I'll go over here so you can get a view out of the window. Look, straight out that way. It's so windy, I think the rain is starting to come. And you can probably hear the wind now. But this is crazy. Look how old these are. Okay, we're gonna climb even higher now. We're gonna go out onto the roof of the castle.
god. Oh my god. So I'm just here. Uh, you're not going to be able to hear me at all. But we are right. Right on top of the castle now. Whoa. That wind is strong. Yeah, the weather. The weather is starting to change. That's for sure. Oh my god. Uneven surfaces. What's down here? <laughs> Let's try. Watch me fall. <laughs> Ass over tit. Oh, this is a bit better. Look. Let's go down here. Wow. Look at the turret. I love the turret. the weather is definitely starting to change. So, here comes the rain, my loves. Here comes the rain. But yeah, this is so cool. I do love a castle. I really, really do. And then obviously, this is all Falmouth over this side, look. So there's all Falmouth, all down there. And there's that building we just had. And the, the cup of tea in the cafe. But look! I do love it. I do love it. Look at that lovely door as well. Look at the castle door. Isn't that nice? So cute. <laughs> Coming into a castle and calling it cute. I'm not that cute. <laughs> but um, I want to have a little wander around a bit more. Inside. It's not huge inside, uh, and it wasn't a residence place, I don't think. I think it was just used for protection, so I wouldn't expect it to be too big. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have a little wander around a bit more, see if I can get some other shots. feeling in this bit as well. This bit's a bit spooky. <laughs> that lovely chest. I don't know if you can see that. That is. They obviously like updated like bits um, made it a little less castle with the panelling and stuff. Maybe that happened during World the Wars. I have no idea. Look at this tiny little like room in here. What would this have been? Look, and this, this is obviously the staircase here, what people are walking through. And there's like little, the arrow slither, where they can fire arrows in case this place got overtook by someone or... I mean, that's the kind of defensive stuff they had to do uh, in castles, but so pretty. Anyway, let's continue onwards. Okay, we're leaving Pendennis Castle now and walking back down into Falmouth Town. Um, I'm really, I wish I had a wee before I left. I'm absolutely dying for a piss. <laughs> Very glamorous, Aiden. Um, so yeah, we're walking back into Falmouth Town. I'm gonna go and find somewhere to have maybe a little bite to eat for lunch. Maybe a pint of beer. 
Who am I kidding? Definitely a pint of beer. And then what we're going to do is just take a look, walk along like the waterside. And we'll just have a little wander around to be honest with you. That was really nice. It was just getting far too windy up there. It was getting too windy. And they actually shut the roof. So we actually got on the roof in just the nick of time. Because they actually closed down the roof. Because the weather's changing now. Another reason why I want to get into Falmouth. Before it starts pissing down with rain. Uh, and then I can just get a nice umbrella. And I have a wander around in the rain. I don't mind the rain. But I need an umbrella to enjoy the rain. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I'll see you once we've... Once we've made our way back into the town a little bit more. find a cute little pub um, and I'm gonna have a drink. Shocking. I know, shocking. I've ordered some really nice food as well. I've ordered some bubble and squeak. If you don't know what bubble and squeak is, if you're not British, you might not know what it is, but give it a Google, darling. Give it a Google. Bubble and squeak food. Um, I've ordered some of that. So I'm gonna tuck into that, have a little rest stop for a bit. And then we're going to take a further walk into town and maybe walk along the water's edge and see what we can find. Now here is brunch, lovelies. A little bit of bubble and squeak. Fried egg with a little bit of hollandaise sauce over it as well. So I'm going to shove this in my face and um, enjoy it, to be honest. Delicious. Right, I've left the pub. I went and bought myself a little jumper from this place as well. It's lovely, lovely jumper. Show you soon. I was gonna, I was going to get the ferry over to St. Mauls, which is just like over that area there. Um, but all of the ferries are cancelled today because of the wind, because of the weather. The ferries can't, they can't run. They cannot run. So that's kind of put a dampener on those plans for me. As ha I wanted to walk around the beaches and around the sides there. Um, but we can't because of the weather. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk a bit further up sort of this way. Sort of see what we can see. And then I think I'm going to go back to the Airbnb and just dump off my stuff for a bit. And have a bit of a rest. Because I've been walking around for absolutely miles. And I just need a little rest really. Um, but yes, that's the plan of action. Uh, let's hope it doesn't rain because it certainly looks like it will be. Look at those clouds. <sighs> I don't trust the weather today. And umbrella, didn't find one. And to be honest, it's a bit too windy for an umbrella. So continue onwards until it starts to rain and then we'll make our way back to the Airbnb.
we just missed the rain. Look, I don't know if you can see the weather out there. I've just got back. I might have stopped off in a pub <laughs> on the way back and had a pint. Um, it was a little bit more, it was a little bit of like a straight man's pub. They were all watching rugby. <laughs> There was me in the corner, I was like, I am not fucking getting out my camera. <laughs> I am not getting out my camera today. Um, or now at least. But, we're, we're back at the Airbnb. So what, we're there. I want to show you something. Come this way. Where are we? A bit pissed. A bit drunk, darlings. Not drunk, just tipsy. Tipsy. Right, we'll go back in here because the lighting's better. But I bought a lovely jumper. I bought a lovely jumper. I'm gonna wear it out this evening, I think. I did bring a shirt to wear out this evening, but it's too, the weather's shit. And my jumper, my my shirt is silk, and I just don't think it's gonna be, oh God, that lighting's awful. There we go, where's the better lighting? Well, not really anywhere, to be honest. But look, look at me little, oh, 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 downwards, Aiden, downwards. I bought this lovely jumper. Look, it's from this shop here, um, fin Finisterre, am I even showing this? I hope I am, yeah I am. Okay, um, look, at, look at the colour of it, I love it. It's organic, sustainable cotton, which, I'm sorry, but that is just, that is a big plus point from me. So I think I'm going to wear that out this evening. Um, by the way, we're going out for dinner, as I said to a restaurant called Restaurant 4. Um, so we're gonna go there. And I also bought this as well from um, Penn Dennis Castle. Look how beautiful this necklace is. It's a little, it's a little brass acorn with like a little, is it a leaf or a feather next to it? I think it might be a feather. Yeah, I think it could be a feather, but it just goes well with my other necklace. Oh, how adorable. How adorable. So at least I've managed to find two little, two little purchases um, while I'm here. I'm just about to pop the kettle on. Just about to pop the kettle on and have a little cup of tea. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, let me get you sorted out there, there we go. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. So I, I am just gonna chill out until I'm ready to go out for food, which is around about six. So I'm giving the rain a little bit of um, time to calm down. And we're gonna go out for some lovely food. I'm gonna have a couple more drinks. And I'm just gonna see where the evening takes me. For now, I'm gonna look through all of the footage that I've took today. Park my ass down on the sofa and look through, um, maybe watch a bit of Sex in the City as well, to be honest with you. I'm on the final season after re-watching it for the one millionth time. So that's what I'm gonna do. That is what I'm gonna do today. But I've had loads of fun today. I really, really have. This place is so warm as well. It's all like underfloor heating all throughout. Um, so I'm so cosy and I love the rain, I do. I love the rain, but I just hate the fact that I can't really get you guys out, like the camera, while it's raining because I just don't trust. I, don't, I just don't trust it, I don't trust it. So yes, I'm very, very nice, very nice indeed. So I'm gonna chill out and probably the next time you'll see me is when we are once again gallivanting around in the streets of Falmouth. So I'll talk to you in a bit, once we're all outside and ready. Okay, my loves. We are walking down to the restaurant now. The weather is grim. Like, honestly grim. Look at these stairs. This is called Jacob's Ladder. Um, I'll probably, I'll pro oh God, here we go. There we are. <laughs> I'll probably fall down them. So, um, be on the, be on the looks out for hearing me scream and uh, a shuffle a shuffled bum down the stairs. <laughs> I don't know how many shots I'm going to be able to get tonight because obviously it is like pissing down with rain and I don't really like getting out my camera equipment in it because it's not waterproof but I'll try and get some nice shots um, but I can't promise you anything but yes I'm going to say goodbye now because there's people down the bottom of the stairs but I'll meet back up with you when I'm in the restaurant again.
Okay, food has been had. That was amazing. That was such a lovely restaurant and it was so reasonably, reasonably priced as well. Um, it wasn't expensive at all. It wasn't expensive at all. Um, the town is starting to come alive a bit. This is a kind of very university town. So obviously all of the students are going to be out drinking now. And it is Saturday night after all. But I'm in this like kind of town square. It's kind of got some really... You can't really tell because obviously it's at night, but there's some really beautiful buildings. I don't know if you can like notice these. There's some really beautiful buildings around here. But um, yeah, so students are coming out, starting to drink. I'm not sure at what I'm going to do. I may stop off to a pub and have a final beer for this evening. <laughs> How many times have I said that this vlog? But um yeah it's really it's a really nice there's something about falmouth i always think it's got such a lovely feeling to this town um and i, I really enjoy it i do i re i would live here i would live here in a heartbeat um so that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna find my final pub resting stop for this evening tomorrow my train isn't until two o'clock in the afternoon so i've got a few hours it's a bit windy you'll have to excuse this I've got a few hours to kill in the morning. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing, because the weather is supposed to be a bit better tomorrow, I'm gonna try and get some drone shots in, some more drone shots, because we only managed one drone shot on the Friday when we got here. So I'm gonna try a little bit more tomorrow once the weather kind of like sorts itself out. Um, but yeah. I'm having a great time. I really am. Very much am. The staff in that last restaurant was, were just so nice. So nice. So always tip your service well. I always try to. Um, and I did then. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to leave it for here. Okay. Had a little stroll around. I've came back to the same pub that we were in yesterday. I know this is probably just a vlog of me in drinking beer in pubs. But do you know what? It's part of the culture in this country and I shall partake in culture. I really shall. Um, so yeah, this is probably going to be me signing off for this evening. Um, as I said, we'll probably, we'll meet up tomorrow and we'll film a little bit on the Sunday as well, my leaving day. And we'll get some lovely drone shots of Falmouth, um, hopefully if I can, if the weather is good. It, the, the forecast is looking good, but we shall see. But I, for one and out, I'm going to enjoy this and I'm going to slip off home and nestle down for the evening. But this is me saying good night. Good night. morning my dears we have left the airbnb now i'm gonna go and find somewhere to have some breakfast um you've got to see these stairs by the way this is called jacob's ladder um let me see if i'm actually gonna be able to show this to you look at these how steep these stairs are and there's more down this way as well which is oh god sorry still not getting on with this gimbal <laughs> i was probably not even showing you how steep these stairs are but yeah, this is called Jacob's Ladder. I think these stairs are like famous in a way. I'm not too sure. Um, but they're all like lit. Oh my God. They're all like lit up at night and everything. Like they're very steep, very steep indeed. We're going to continue on down here. <laughs> I had to walk up these last night after a few pints. <laughs> so no wonder they call this Jacob's Ladder. I mean, look at those. How the hell did I get up that last night? Look at it. Hmm. But anyway, hello. What we're going to be doing, as I said, I'm going to find somewhere to have some breakfast. And then while the weather's still nice, I think I'm going to try and fly my drone somewhere. 
So we'll go and find somewhere to get some nice drone shots to finish off this weekend. Um, but for now, I'm gonna have to try and get down these stairs without falling. So I'm gonna put you away and see you once we're having breakfast. <laughs> So there we go. I managed to fly my drone for a little bit, but the wind is still really strong. I've not been able to get a really good drone shot properly on um, on these vlogs yet because of the wind. But that's what you get with Cornwall. Cornwall is a windy place. But um, I'm gonna say goodbye now, loves. I'm gonna go, I've just had breakfast. That was a really nice place as well. I'll make sure to like link where it was and stuff. But I'm gonna go and find somewhere to maybe have a little coffee and wait for my train because my train's in like a couple of hours um and that's it that's my finishing vlog from falmouth i think um i've had so much fun i definitely will be back in falmouth in the summer i mean i, I do visit this place quite often with tom and i just love it down here but um yes i'm gonna see you all in the next vlog we're venturing a bit further afield this time um and to somewhere that i haven't been since i was very young so it's gonna be a brand new thing for me because it's going to be a lot about discovering somewhere properly new um, and I'm not going to spoil as to where that is yet but um, and I'm also absolutely excited at the place that I'm staying in in that vlog as well because it looks so beautiful and I think you guys are really going to love the modern aesthetic that we've got going with this place but yes this is me signing off thank you so much for watching my darlings get some lovely comments down below and I will see you all next time